June 5th, St. Boniface, Bishop and Martyr. St. Boniface was born in Devonshire, England in the year 680. Some missionaries staying at his father's house spoke to him of heavenly things and inspired him with a wish to devote himself as they did to God. He entered the monastery at Exminster, and there he was trained for his apostolic work. His first attempt to convert the pagans in Holland having failed, he went to Rome to attain the Pope's blessing on his mission, and returned with authority to preach to the German tribes. It was a slow and dangerous task. His own life was in constant peril, while his flock was often reduced to abject poverty by the wandering robber bands. Yet his courage never flagged. He began in Bavaria, then visited Friesland, then passed on to Hesse and Saxony, everywhere destroying the idols, temples, and raising churches on their site. He endeavored as far as possible to make every object of idolatry contribute in some way to the glory of God. On one occasion, having cut down an immense oak which was consecrated to Jupiter, he used a tree in building a church which he dedicated to the Prince of the Apostles. He was now recalled to Rome, consecrated bishop by the Pope, and returned to extend and organize the rising German church. With diligent care, he reformed abuses among the clergy and established religious houses throughout the land. Feeling his infirmities increase and fearful of losing his martyr's crown, Boniface appointed a successor to his monastery and set out to convert a fresh pagan tribe. While St. Boniface was waiting to administer confirmation to some newly baptized Christians, a troop of pagans arrived armed with swords and spears. The barbarians fell upon them and slew him with all his attendants to the number of fifty-two. St. Boniface teaches us how the love of Christ changes all things. It was for Christ's sake that he toiled for souls, preferring poverty to riches, labor to rest, suffering to pleasure, death to life, that by dying he might live with Christ.